All right, guys, here we are on Antigua Shipyard in the bottom left part of the map in the red, representing the Team Prime. He's going to IPL4 anyway, but he wants to win a trip for another one of his teammates. It is Creator. And in the upper right part of the map, he wants to win a trip. He's already going to, but he just wants to save his team money. He's very frugal like that. <laughs> in the blue from the team, Team Liquid, it is Hero. Yeah, you know, we kind of mentioned, so both these guys are going to IPL4 anyway. Yeah. The only guy who's not actually, of the three that are remaining in the tournament, is Jockji. So yes. uh, NSO so is not going to send him over, so he has to win this tournament in order to make it up to IPL4. Yeah. So and The other thing, too, is is even though like these guys are already going, if they don't win, they don't get $5,000. Yeah, that's, a lot of money on the line. That's a big part of it, too, yeah. No kidding. Yep. Um, quite a bit of money. These guys have both secured at least $2,000 in prizes, though, just by finishing in the top three. One of these guys is going to go home right now. We are guaranteed a PVT Finals. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, though, that Jockji is guaranteed that all-important extra life, though, uh, because that's he right. did make his way through the winner's bracket. So whoever of these two players moves on to face him will have to win twice in a row. Yep. That's right. And you know what? It's going to be really, really tough to beat Jockji in two best of fives in a row. No matter which one yeah. of these guys makes it through, I feel sorry for him, man. Jockji is a tough opponent, that's for sure. He has been on top of his game in this tournament yeah. as well. He's oh, tried absolutely. his absolute hardest uh, during the IPL events, and he's won himself some good money by doing so. And he's a good uh, player. Yes, he is. Very so, much so. Here's the thing. Creator Prime is such a random Protoss player. You, it's really hard to kind of uh, put a... a sort of a, a name on the style that this guy plays. In PvP, yeah. In PvP, right, of course. We, we know how he plays in PvP, and we yes. know to a certain extent to PvZ as well, but PvP is a bit of a mystery. He does a wide variety of builds. You never quite know uh, what to expect out of him. And, uh, you know, he's very good at the positioning game. I'd say he lacks a little bit in the actual control of his units in big fights, but he's very, very good at being in the right place at the right time, and that's how we saw him beat hero last time is that he kept put getting himself in these situations where he had a big advantage over hero's army he was able to pick off you know parts of it here and there it was a very interesting series i, I definitely encourage you to go watch it if you hadn't already so yeah. uh, it's i'm curious to see how hero is going to play this he's gonna have to be very careful about where he puts his units and it looks like hero's immediately going to take second guess as well now uh, there's some it was the same thing for creator as well yep um so there's a couple of things to note i mean creator in the first set between these two players you know was very situational as well very real active to what his opponent was doing. He was doing things like, oh, okay, well, you have this. Looks like you're going to play greedy or maybe a little bit more tech or you're going to expand in the future. I'm going to go ahead and foregate, but I've already made over 19 pros, so I'm going to continue making them. So it's very weird builds like that, uh -huh. but, uh, you know, and still sit on one gas, but he makes them work just by being very situationally aware. Hero actually doing the same thing we saw him do in pretty much all the PvPs the last go-around, though, already opening up with that second gate. Well, I'm really looking forward to asking Creator Prime about his PvP at IPL4. I, I do plan on talking to him about it because it's it's a kind of an enigma, you know. And I wonder if it's if it's he's just like a genius, a mad scientist genius <laughs> that we don't realize, or if he just doesn't feel very confident in the matchup and just is kind of like doing things, you know. But because yeah. of that, is throwing his opponents off. I'm not quite sure which it is quite yet, but I look forward to finding out from him this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. And guys, uh, send us in some notes on Twitter as well. We were reading Twitter during the broadcast. I'm at Cat's Pajamas SE2. He is at Gosudoa. Let yep. us know who your favorites are uh, out of the open bracket as the open bracket list has been publicized. We're kind of curious who you guys think is going to win the tournament. So again, at Cat's Pajamas SE2 or at Gosudoa. Yep, that's right. Let us know. So we have, looks like, three gates total for Creator Prime right now, and uh -huh. on Liquid Hero side, just two gates. So this could be some sort of two-gate robo-expand. We have seen quite a few of those. Uh, you could add on a different tech building as well. Creator Prime going for the Twilight Council, so it looks like it's going to be Blink play in his future. He shook the magic eight ball, and that's uh -huh. what it came up. <laughs> that is true. I see Blink in your future. <laughs> There you go. Oh. And a robo as well, just to get that observer for vision. Right, absolutely. Uh, great map for it as well. As you can see, there's so much cliff line around the sides that you can abuse with Blink Stalkers. So, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, definitely, definitely a good choice for that. Hero actually going to try and expand out of this, uh, and he's going to put on some pressure with these three Stalkers oh, wow. up in the front. But Creator, oh, he's got a sentry sitting overhead. Oh, but he's giving it away. It's doing some damage, so Hero's not even going to test the ramp unless he be caught by a uh, force field. Yep. That would be a good decision by Hero to not try to get up that ramp. Yeah. A little bit dangerous to do so. Hero uh, adding on his Robo Bay as well as another gateway, too. So he's going to be going up to a total of three gates and a Robo. So just 
a very kind of safe, standard, all-around uh, expand build for Hero. You know, you can tell he's, he's not quite sure what to expect from Crater, so he's just going to play safe. He's not going to worry about trying to kill him right away, just going to kind of sit back and say, all right, I'm going to just macro well, have a good unit composition, and see what you do. And this uh, probe could certainly go down. Oh, it looks like uh, Hero's not going to chase, though. Or Stalker's making their way out for Creator. So actually, Hero just trying to take map control right now because he doesn't want this expansion to be pressured at any given point in time. But we already see there are a pretty good number of Stalkers out there. Blink is almost finished up for Creator. And he was sending out that probe because he wants to get down a forward pylon. Maybe he was thinking about this spot uh, so it would be hidden, but he could get it into his opponent's face pretty quickly. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad spot for a pylon. Really, any place where it won't get immediately destroyed is a pretty good place for a pylon. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. He might try to jump up into Hero's base here, too, with that Observer, see what damage he can do. And we'll see the supply is dead even right now for our two players, although Hero's first Immortal did just hit right now. So that's going to give him a little bit of extra defense. Whoops! Oh! Loses a Stalker right away, though, and Creator's going to have to make his way into the main here in a second. It looks like that's what he's yeah. planning on doing. He's got to wait for that uh, Blink cooldown. There it goes! One Pylon's going to fall. We have another Immortal about halfway done. There's just one sitting out at the moment. We'll see if Creator's control is up to snuff. Yep. And there's a Blink. Oh, some of the units not quite escaping yet. He manages to pick off a couple sentries. And the rest of the Stalkers, he's not blinking them out quite yet. He wants to try to split up Hero's forces. Right. There we go, decided to just blink out. And the Selen right. Sentry are going so forward. Brave. Attack! They're Get so it done. brave. Oh, uh, he oh. just wants to force field that ramp. Yeah, that's right. He might have a good chance of killing off this Nexus. He has a lot of energy built up on that Sentry, actually. Yes, he does. Stalker oh, that taking... Nexus is dead. Yeah, I think he wants his opponent to think that he can bring down some units in a bit, try and trap them. But yes, the expansion falls, and Hero now sitting on 33 probes, but they may just all get killed. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, he doesn't really need to kill the probes all that much. It is nice to kind of get it. Looks like he will still, but yeah. killing that Nexus is definitely the big thing. Oh, man, all the probes, all of Hero's hard work getting taken down, and does he have another... Oh, there's actually field? a warp oh, wow. inside of his opponent's base. What? Looks like Hero dropped How? down a pylon in there, but Creator's already on top of this, and he is going to clean that up, no problem. Oh, man, how did he not notice that pylon going down? That's what happens. Yeah. Looks like back at Hero's base, Hero is chasing out Creator Prime, manages to force field off that sentry. And yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't kill all that much, and, uh, yeah. you know, Hero's got those Immortals going for him, and that's really nice. And it looks like a couple more Warpins are coming in now, so Hero really pressuring with this. Why not? And um, yeah. we'll see if he can get anything done, as it looks like the last... Oh, actually, there is one more Zealot left for Creator. He's going to bring in another one in a second as well, so not a lot of probes have fallen. In fact, ten probes killed to just one at the moment. Yep make that too. <laughs> oh, doubled his probe out. kill count. So Hero is expanding out of this as well, so he's going to have uh, a pretty decent economy. Actually, his Nexus isn't going to be up too much after uh, Hero's is, the difference being that Creator Prompt didn't lose a bunch of probes. Yeah, let's see here now as uh, 73 supply to 55 at the moment. Uh, Creator with a pretty big advantage. 15 yep. stalkers to his opponent 6, but of course don't forget um, oh, actually supply blocking uh, hero there for a little bit and um, but don't forget though that the base is going to be up that much faster um, he does have a better tech advantage with blink already finished up hero just putting up his twilight council now you know i i gotta say creator prime is just such an impressive pvp -er. you know now the more i watch his play he just is really good at making the right decisions here he even saves that observer he sees that the army is going to come to try to kill it Gets out of there in time, but just to force field the ramp and kill the Nexus. I mean, that's that's not something you see a lot in PvP. That's, that's more of a PvZ type thing. Well, it worked out pretty well for him there. Oh, yeah. And uh, Creator, going to finish up that Nexus pretty soon. Going to a Dark Shrine. Ah, okay. So once it gets some DTs, or just possibly right. some Archons out there as well, may not have all the gas required. Pulling a lot of probes to shift over to the Natural, as a matter of fact. The vast majority of them. Yeah, I... Uh, I, I think he might try to do a little bit of aggression with DTs. He knows that Hero has an Observer out, though, so this is kind of a, a bold move by Liquid Hero. I think he might, you know, want the value of the Archons, too, though, just to be able to break forest fields and things like that, but, you know, overall, it looks like... Oh, did he cancel that? Let's see. He did, yeah. yeah he canceled he the Dark Shrine, put down a Robotics Bay instead. Yep, so he wants to go yeah. ahead and add on some Colossi in a bit. That'll work a little bit better, I think. Yeah, Creator sees that army shift once again, knows that the expansion is up, however. And Creator is ahead by 27 supply, only 11 of that in workers, so 16 of it is reflected in army, and he's adding on a Forge as well. Uh, upgrades are actually a big deal in this matchup. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, sure. I always go back to the example of uh, the one that e educated me the most of that was Hoswabs during the NASL. 
uh, during their live events. You know, he went straight toe to toe with an inferior amount of Colossi, but with better positioning and upgrades, just obliterated them. So, yep. In any mirror matchup, the upgrades do end up being quite important here. And there is a plus one upgrade started right now for Creator Prime. Thermal Lance already on the way though for Liquid Heroes. So. He's going to have kind of a scary Colossus army, and if Creator doesn't add his own Colossi, or at least add something on that can take care of those, he might be in a little bit of a trouble if this goes to a later game kind of big army confrontation type of situation. Well, he may be able to just kill Hero, honestly, before the uh, Colossi numbers get all that big. The first we'll one's see. not even done yet, and he's already moving his army across the map. Um, so we'll see if he decides to poke in here in a bit. And, oh, he oh. is going to catch the uh, both observers actually oh, wow. end up going down. Creator, though, does steal a couple of stalker kills as well. Yep, so Creator Prime extending his lead here. About 30 some supply ahead right now over Liquid Hero. So Liquid Hero definitely still needs to remain on the defensive. Oh, and look at that. A Templar Archives going down for Creator Prime. Interesting choice. So he uh, probably will be adding some Archons onto this. Yeah, that's a good choice. Charge just finished up as well. So yeah, be able to neutralize those numbers pretty quickly. And uh, Hero has a lot of biological units out there as well. I think he had a fair number of uh, Zealots. No, I'm I'm a dirty liar. I looked at it before. I okay. admit my mistake there. He doesn't actually have that many Zealots, so the Archons aren't going to uh, be able to use their bonus against biological all that much. Nope. Stalkers used to be bi biological, but not anymore. Ooh, he gets yeah. a second Observer. Creator Prime, though, he's like, ah, no problem. I make a ton of them every game anyway. He does, though. That's a fact. Yeah, plus two weapons started at about the same time. Plus one for Liquid Hero has started. So Creator Prime will maintain that upgrade lead. And High Templar are out there, and he'll be able to add on some more Stalkers here. I'm sorry, some more uh, Zealots here in just a bit as well, because he went through most of his gas. And uh, plus two weapons is already on the way. We'll see if Hero can make a defense here. He's got two Colossi. Range is finished as well. It's a big benefit to his army. Yeah, well, those... Uh, those Colossi are definitely something that can't be ignored. It's going to be the primary worry for Creator Prime, but he is so far ahead. Look at that, 153 to 117. That is quite a lead in PvP, and here he goes right into the natural expansion. Can Hero defend this? I don't know, and that's almost entirely an army as well. So Pretty Hero's much. got a couple of uh, Colossi out now, but his plus one weapon's Ooh. not going to be finished anywhere in time. The Archons need to get eventually up there so they can break down those force fields, but yeah. uh, already has died, denied the gas. We'll see how much more damage Creator can do. Yeah, getting those Immortals up in front to go after those Colossi. Not quite able to reach them here. Creator Prime deciding to fall back. Yeah, a little bit of a dangerous situation. He could try to go after the Nexus here, but you have to be very, very careful in a situation like this. Yes, you do. And Creator looks like he's splitting up his units, waiting for an engagement here in a bit. Yeah, he and wants Hero to attack him if he can. And let's see now, as uh, still a 30 supply deficit between the Ooh. two players. Hero trying to draw some units out. Creator puts them on uh, hold command, though. And now he's going to bring forward his units. Has an Archon oh. up the front, so we can go through those force fields as well. Yep. Uh, Immortal sitting up the back with their six range, able to pick off a couple of Stalkers on the high ground as well. The uh, Archons have not really been able to touch the Colossi quite yet. In fact, one of the Archons did go down. However, Hero is still continuing to lose units, despite the fact that he's holding pretty well now. He's still losing a lot of stuff, and he doesn't have as good of an ability to uh, replenish that as his opponent and now plus two weapons finishes for creator finish. and creator prime you know he's in a good position here a little bit tenuous but i feel like he could just focus down that nexus and kind of force hero to come out that may have been the better choice but no he's actually going to fall back all right so creator prime he's like well you know i don't really need to kill him right now i suppose he might wait for a couple more warping cycles but yeah overall denying that gas of the natural expansion for hero is a pretty big deal and let's see now as Creator, that's a ton of wow. probes on that little spot right there. Oh, he blinks into the main, picks oh, off nice. the robotics bay, so he'll be able to catch up in wow. Colossi numbers very quickly. His opponent then going the other round, putting down a Templar Archives to allocate his gas into High Templar and Archons. Yep, that's right. So, Hero still quite a bit behind here in this mirror matchup, but not, you know, unwinnably behind. He still has a chance, I would say, here's getting his own plus two as Creator Prime gets his plus three and adds a second robotics facility. So. Creator Prime is going to try to catch up in Colossus count and then exceed that very rapidly. Hero already at three. And let's see here now as, uh, yeah, the plus three weapons on the way pretty soon. And uh, one Colossus is getting close to done, but the uh, second robotics facility is about to pop up here in just a second. That's clearly what Creator is expending his resources on. And an expansion as wow. well, expanding over to the third. Looks like uh, Creator may have, I'm sorry, Hero may have the same idea here in just, just a bit. Macro toss extraordinaire. Yeah, it's, uh, it's one of those PvPs that actually gets to the quote-unquote late game, I guess. Yeah. Looks like 
Main is totally mined out, though, so yep. Creator way oversaturated on his natural, of course. He'll shift some of those over to the uh, third here momentarily. And a pretty good force of Blink Stalkers in the middle for Creator, but he can't get those caught yeah. or uh, lose his attention for even a split second or they're all die. Yeah, it's a big deal. If they kind of decide to auto-attack into something like Hero's Army, he could lose a lot of stuff for nothing. So yeah, just playing it safe. He's going to scout that third expansion with his Observer up at the top of the map. Yes, he is. And, yeah, he knows that it's there. So now what he really needs to worry about or be careful of is that he doesn't get caught by one of those attacks that goes through your back rocks and gets up into your third base, and that's exactly what Hero's going to go for. If he can get that high ground before Creator Prime gets in there, it could be rough. It's going to be close, as usual, when always, when this always happens. Creator, so smart, though, keeping all of his non-blinkable units on the high ground so we can move up the Stalkers if necessary. And in fact, it looks like it's going to have to be the case as the Stalkers are making their way around to the left-hand side. Hero, though, assaulting this position, has lost yep. quite a bit of stuff, though, as his Immortal number starting to get a little bit low. Also, Creator reinforcing with more Colossi. The three Colossi yep. at the back, though, for Hero have done quite a bit of damage. Man, the Immortals, though, for a hero, look at that, doing a ton in the Colossi as well. See this, you just cannot let your opponent get up there. It's so hard to push an army back. He's going to lose his third base for sure here. And he has lost the supply lead as well. The game's suddenly looking very uncertain for, for a Crater Prime. Yes, it is. We'll see if the Colossi count is going to be big enough for him here in just a second. He did also finish plus three weapons, so he's maintaining that advantage over his opponent. Yep. No forward warpins for Creator, though, to try and catch his opponent off guard. In fact, he's just morphing in an Archon for the time being, bringing in some Zealots. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of income at all right now. Certainly not going to be able to make double Colossi like he wanted to out of those two robotics facilities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just absolutely cannot let your opponent take that high ground at your third base. That is just a really, really hard position to attack once your opponent gets up there. And this has been a pretty long PvP so far, and uh, Creator's going to have to make something happen here in just a bit. Looks like he's expending all of his resources on units for now, though, to try and overwhelm his opponent. He hasn't saved up for another expansion yet. Wow, this is a crazy point to be at. Remember, at one point, Creator Prime was about 50 supply ahead yeah. of Liquid Hero, and now look where we're at. Hero with uh, about a 15 supply advantage here at this point. Yeah, let's see if he blinks and into the main. Oh. Oh. Almost got some units caught. In fact, good blink there by Creator, and he's yeah. going to pick off a couple of Stalkers there for free. He's got to be a little bit careful, though, not to get caught by those Colossi or anything like that. Very Looks much like Creator so. Prime wants to force the engagement right here. But oh. Hero does fall back. He can play defensive because he does have that third base. Oh, the blink ahead. I don't know if that was a good idea by Creator. Well, Creator comes up with a lot of charge lots, and the charge lots actually cleaving through the Immortals pretty quickly. The only one with Archons left over now is Creator, and one of the Colossi already goes down. Believe it or not, Creator starting to push forward in this engagement, and the Colossi are a little bit naked right now. Just one, uh, or one about to go down. Two more sitting oh, at the wow. back, and Creator's actually able to cross through that fight. One of those Colossi just barely surviving the blink in, does pick it off, and he's going to get a second one too. Two Colossi up for Creator Prime, only one for Hero right now. Oh my god, and what? another Are turnaround! Hero is probably to pull some probes oh, off of the line as well. This is so dangerous though by uh, Creator Prime. What a risky move, moving in with just a few units here. Yeah. He does kill off the robotic space, so that means no more Colossi for a little while for Liquid Hero. Yeah, but he's delaying and he's allowing his opponent to bring in a couple more units. I Looks know. like he's more worried about those sentries than anything else. So Hero pushing all of his units to the back there is going to lose a little bit of economy as well. Yeah, I don't know. Creator Prime playing very, very scared sort of right now. He's not pushing in any more than he absolutely has to. Yeah. And I don't know. He's got the slightest <laughs> supply lead ever, but you know, he's still got a decent army. And there oh, we go. He's now going, he's yep, to the third. Well, bringing some probes with him as well. Not, so yeah. I suppose so. Going to make everything an attack unit here. And it looks oh, like Hero be wants to be able to surround this army. Oh, the Colossi just a bit out of position for Hero for just a second here. It looks like he wants to try to flank with the probes possibly. Yeah. Oh, man. This is such a close PvP. Oh, oh, big hit on the probes. Looks like Hero wants to try to fight. Here he is down on supply. All this is right. do or die time. Well, okay. A lot of probes are pulled off the line. We'll see if this is going to be enough for Creator. Will he be able to break through? Or is Hero oh, going blink. to be able to move in? Yes, Blink. If I were to pick off one of the Colossi, it goes down. The second going to fall here in a second. But it looks like Heroes is going to fall as well. Oh, Hero wow, just lost everything. He's it. down to eight supply. Man. Creator just won the game. GG. And Creator Prime wow. taking game 